Hallelujah. Ain't it good to be in the house of God tonight? Amen. I'll tell you what, I feel fired up, y'all. I'm feeling good tonight. Amen. I'm happy to have my friends with me tonight. It's an honor for y'all to be here. And uh, it's so good to see you. It's good to see all y'all tonight. Amen. It's an honor and privilege to be in revival. Yes. Hey, y'all, this is revival tonight. Amen. It's time to come alive. Amen. Yes. Tonight, if you have your Bibles, we're going to jump right in. And I want to go to Numbers. Let's go to Numbers chapter 9, verse 15. Numbers 9 and 15. Say amen if you got it. Amen. Come on, say amen if you got it. Amen. Amen. It says, and on the day that the tabernacle was reared up, the cloud covered the tabernacle. Namely, the tent of the testimony, and at even there was upon the tabernacle, as it were, the appearance of fire until the morning. So it was always. The cloud covered it by day, and the appearance of fire by night. And when the cloud was taken up from the tabernacle, then after that the children of Israel journeyed, and in the place where the cloud abode, there the children of Israel pitched their tents. At the commandment of the Lord, the children of Israel journeyed, and at the commandment of the Lord, they pitched. As long as the cloud abode upon the tabernacle, they rested in their tents. And when the cloud tarried long upon the tabernacle, many days, then the children of Israel kept the charge of the Lord. And journeyed not. And so it was. When the cloud was a few days upon the tabernacle, according to the commandment of the Lord, they abode in their tents. And according to the commandment of the Lord, they journeyed. And so it was. When the cloud abode from evening unto morning, and that the cloud was taken up in the morning, then they journeyed. Whether it was by day or by night that the cloud was taken up, they journeyed. Or whether it were two days or a month or a year that the cloud tarried upon the tabernacle remaining thereon, the children of Israel abode in their tents and journeyed not. But it, when it was taken up, they journeyed. At the commandment of the Lord, they rested in the tents, and at the commandment of the Lord, they journeyed. They kept the charge of the Lord at the commandment of the Lord by the hand of Moses. Now tonight as we come to the house of the Lord, I want to preach a little bit about moving. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, church. Come on. Hey, I said I want to talk about moving. Amen. Here in the Bible times, in the times of the tabernacle, when Moses reared up the tabernacle in the wilderness, the word of God says that a cloud come in on top of it. Amen. Yeah. And it was a cloud by day and it was a fire by oh, night. Yeah. Come on, church. Oh, hallelujah to the Lamb tonight. I said there was a cloud by day and there was a fire by night. Hallelujah. Amen. And when the cloud abode, the children of Israel, they set up camp. Yeah. That's right. And they kept the charge of the Lord is what the word says. And they fulfilled all their duties. And they lived in the presence of God. Oh, I said they lived in the presence of, of Almighty God. The Shekinah glory of God come down and it rested over top of the tabernacle, over top of the tent of testimony, over top of that ark. Amen. Come on, y'all. And it was a cloud by day. And a fire by night. And you know what? It says in verse four, in chapter 40 of Exodus that it was in sight of all of Israel. Yeah. Mm. Come on. That means when they walked out there 10 in the morning, mama, hey, they seen the presence of God. Yeah. Hey, when they went in to bed at nighttime, Vera, the presence of God kept them warm. Oh, hallelujah to the Lamb of God tonight. I feel a stirring in the house. I said, I feel a stirring in the house. I said, I feel a stirring in the house. Come on. The church of God, we used to have the power reigning in our lives, didn't we? 
Yeah. Oh, come on. We talk about those old revivals, don't we? Yeah. Oh, let's get down to the nitty gritty tonight. Hey, let's get down to it. Hey, I said, let's get down to it. We, we talk about the revivals that we used to have. And we talk about the, the fire that so-and-so used to have. And we talk about our old prayer life and our old way of life and how we used to do things. Come on, church. Come on. Yeah. And the presence of God has lifted off of the churches in a lot of instances. Come yes, on. Sir. Yes, sir. You're right. Hey, I said the presence of God has lifted in a lot of churches. Yes, right. And we still camping out in our tents Amen. in the pew. Come on. You're right, preacher. Oh, let's go down to it now. Hey, hey, y'all. The presence of God has moved on. And the word of God told the Israelites, he says, when you see my cloud move, yeah. when you see my fire move, mm -hmm. you better uproot yourself. Amen. Come on. You better pick your tent up. You better grab your babies by the hand. You better get everything that pertains to you. And you better chase after the fire of God. You ought to chase after the presence of God. And don't you stop journeying until you get into the presence. Hallelujah. We come to God. We come to God's house. We sit in the pew. The presence of God ain't even in the house anymore. And we ain't even got the discernment to see it. Wow. Oh, come on, church. There's so many preachers, they're standing up in the pulpit and they're preaching something, but it ain't the true doctrine of God. It's hogwash in the nostrils of God. Come on, church. They're preaching everything but God's word. They're preaching everything but what God wants to say. All the preachers, they got the word of God, but they ain't got a word from God. I want to come to house tonight to tell you... That the presence of God is here if you yeah. want it. Uh, but you know what? You're not going to get it in your tent. Uh, you're going to have to uproot yourself. Uh, and you're going to have to search after it. Oh, come on. Church is caught up in sin. And we can't see that the power of God has moved on. I said that the church is caught up in sin. And we can't see that the power of God has moved on. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Ain't that the truth? Yeah. It says it was in the sight of all the people. They knew when the presence was there. They was God's people. Yes. Well, tonight we call ourselves Christians and everybody in the world wants to say, hey, I'm a Christian. But you can't even tell when the spirit of God has moved on. And when we don't even know, we just go on about life. We go on eating and drinking and being merry. And the presence of God has moved on down the road. And we don't have no fire anymore. Yeah. I say, where's your fire at? Uh -oh. Hey, where's your praise at tonight? Did you come to the house of the Lord to see somebody preach? Or did you come to the house of the Lord to see the presence of God stir? To see the presence of God move? I said, I feel a holy anointing in God's house. And if you want healing, it's here. If you need salvation, it's here. If you need something from God, I'm telling you right now, uproot yourself and get in the presence. They searched after it, man. What are we doing to search after the presence of God? Huh? Huh? We come to revival. We don't come to the altar. Hello? Can I get amen in the house amen. of God? Amen. We say we want to have revival. We ain't prayed 10 minutes today about the service. Oh, come on. Where's the fire? Where's the zeal? Where's the burn? How many people did you invite to God's house tonight? I want to tell you that I invited a bunch of people all I can. I tried to fill this house full of preachers tonight. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why? Because I want to see the power of God stir. I want to see the power of God move. I want to see healing. I want to see somebody get delivered. I want to see some people get set free. I want to shout. I want to have a good time. I want to see the burdens roll off. I want people to have a difference in their lives. It's not about me. It's about what you can have through God. Come on, church. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. It said, the tabernacle as it were the appearance of fire unto the morning. So it was always. Mm. Come on. Mm -hmm. And the appearance of fire by night. And when the cloud was taken up from the tabernacle, then after the children of Israel journeyed, and in the place where the cloud abode, there the children of Israel pitched their tents. We pitched our tents, mm -hmm. and the glories moved on. Mm -hmm. 
We've pitched our tents and the glory has moved on. You say, what are you talking about? We come to church and we're satisfied with the salvation that we got. And I want you to know that a halfway salvation ain't going to get you to heaven. You'll die and you'll burn in hell for the rest of eternity if you ain't got your business right with God. I said a halfway salvation, a half-stepping Christian, a two-faced man, a woman of God is not going to the kingdom of heaven. But I want you to know those that have been washed by the blood, those that have been abiding in the presence of God, those that's got that fire burning, keep it burning, they the ones that's going to go. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. You say, why are you yelling at me and spitting and acting crazy like that? I want you to know, but I've been listening to the preaching of the Word of God. Yeah. You say, does it make a difference in your life? I say, yes, ma'am, yes, sir, it makes a difference. Yeah. When you get up in the morning, you hit your knees and you start praying. Come on. Hello? Amen. Come on. And then you get off on the job and you start listening to some preaching instead of all that other worldly stuff that you've been listening to. Yeah. Come on, church. Yeah. You get that free faith coming by here and here by the word of God. Yeah. And when you hear the word of God, I want you to know it's, it's like a fire yeah. shut up in my bone tonight. Yes, she go to him by now, I said it's a power that's stirring in the house tonight. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. You want to know when the presence of God started? Huh? On the backside of a desert somewhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, I said on the backside of a desert. Yeah. There was a man tending some sheep. Uh -oh. Hello? Are you awake tonight? <laughs> You're going to be awake when I get through. <laughs> Come on. I said there was a man on the backside of a desert somewhere. And he seen this bush. And it started a burning. Come on. And it was consumed. But the word of God said it didn't burn up. Yeah. And that thing got down in him. And he had to run over there and see what was going on. Ain't it? Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And you know what God said? He said take your shoes off because you're on holy ground. Oh, hallelujah. He said take the shoes off, daddy, because you're on holy ground. And he called the man of God and said, I'm going to use you. Yeah. Yes. Oh, thank you, Lord. Amen. But it didn't stop there. He didn't stop there. He went down to Egypt yeah. and he told old Pharaoh. You want to know what he told him? He said, God said, let my people go. God said, let my people go so they can worship me. Yeah. That's right. Hallelujah. They got off down to the Red Sea. Come on. There was a, a sea in front of them, an army behind them, and mountains on both sides. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Yeah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And I want you to know what showed up. There was this cloud that showed up. Yeah. I said there was this cloud that showed up. And there was this fire mama that couldn't be put out. I said it couldn't be put yeah. out. And there was darkness on the other side. Come on, church. Yeah. Moses, he lifted up that rod. The Red Sea parted. They went on to the other side with the presence of God. Yeah. They followed the presence of God Amen. through the sea. Come on. Come on, you say, did it stop there? I say, no, ma'am, no, sir. No. They kept on a journey. Yes. They got down to Mount Sinai. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> hey, y'all. Oh. It's, it's time. It's any time y'all want to shout, that is perfectly <laughs> fine with me. <laughs> Hello? Any time y'all want to shout, Nanny, any time that fire gets up in y'all, I'm telling you, I want you to shout for me tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They got down to Mount Sinai. I feel the power of God in this place. I said they got down to Mount Sinai. And Moses went up the mountain. And the word of God says that a cloud come down and rested on top of the mountain. And inside the cloud that a fire come down. And it was God Almighty himself. And you know what he done? Oh, come on. come on. He yeah. sanctified his people. I said he sanctified his people. I want you to know tonight, brother, I'm baptized in the Holy Ghost and fire. Come on. Hey, come on. I said I'm saved, I'm sanctified, and I'm filled with the Holy Ghost and the fire. Amen. And that's what happened on Mount Sinai. Moses went up there and the fire showed up. Come on. And it sanctified the people. I said it sanctified them. Thank you, it set them apart. He said, this is how it's going to be. This is my law and you're going to live by it. Amen. He said, did the, did the presence stop there? No, they kept on searching for it. It kept on moving and they kept on following. Hallelujah. And you know what happened? The word of God says in Exodus 40 that when the tabernacle was finished, I said when the tabernacle was finished, the cloud 
showed up on top of the tabernacle, praise God. And I want you to know that the word of God says the glory of the Lord filled the house. Oh, hallelujah. Hey, I said the glory of the Lord filled the house. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, come on. Come on, y'all. Are y'all searching for it yet? Are you searching for it yet? Are you journeying on for it yet? I'm telling you tonight, church, that there's a mighty God. And we always want to pray, Lord, move on us tonight. But you know what? He's already moved. And he's waiting for you to move. And if you would move and get yourself to the altar, if you would move and get yourself to the presence of God, he would show up and give you a fire that will never burn. Hallelujah. You say, was that the end of it? No. no. Oh, no. Uh -uh. Come on. Uh -uh. They followed that thing all the way into the to the land of Canaan. Yeah. And everywhere that ark went, come on, they followed right yeah. behind it. And every time the cloud moved, they followed right behind it. Come on. Mm -hmm. Amen. When the cloud moved, they picked up their stuff and they moved on. I said they moved on. They followed the presence of God. Tonight, as we sit here in church, I want you to know that the presence of God is stirring. And if you would seek it out, if there would be nothing, come on. They went through the desert. They went over the mountain. They went through the river. Come on, church. They went through it all. But they didn't let nothing stop them from getting to the presence of God. Because they knew where the presence of God was, was the victory. Hallelujah. And I got the victory tonight. I preach from the victory. And no man's going to sit us down. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I got a fire that the world can't put out. Hallelujah. Oh, the only one that can put this fire out is me. And that's if I let it go out. That's right. yeah. But by the grace and the mercy of God, I'm going to keep my fire burning. Woo! I'm going to put a log on that flame. Hallelujah. 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 I said hallelujah. You, when you get in the presence of God, there's healing there. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. When you get in the presence of God, hallelujah. I want you to know that there's salvation there. When you get in the presence of God, he Woo! can straighten out legs and he can make, make the call. Come on, church. He can heal cancer tonight. And I want you to know it. And I believe it with everything in my heart. Hallelujah. We got to search out the presence of God. You say, well, that was the end. No, I want to tell you a few short stories real quick, and then I'm going to be through. Hallelujah. There was this little man. His name was Zacchaeus, mama. Come on. Oh, where's my help at tonight? You know what? If you don't want to shout, that's perfectly fine with me. You know what? If you want to raise your hand and say hallelujah, that's fine. Because I brought somebody with me. And no matter how your face looks, and no matter what you do, I'm going to travel on. I'm going to forward. I'm chasing after the presence. I'm going to feel the fire. And I'm going to keep it. There was a man named Zacchaeus, and the word of God says he was of small stature. He was a short man. He couldn't see very tall over some people. Come on. And they heard that Jesus, he heard that the presence of God was moving through Jericho. And the crowd gathered. And the word of God says he couldn't see it because of the press. He couldn't see it because of the press. Yeah. I said he couldn't see it because of the yeah. press. But you know what he did? He pushed his way through one person. Yeah. He slided on by somebody else. Yeah. He stepped on somebody else's toe. Yeah. He pushed another man out the way. And he climbed a tree to see the presence of God. Yeah. You say, well, what happened? Oh, hallelujah. There's a fire down inside of me, boy. Oh, come on. You say, what happened? I want you to know that Jesus passed by. The living, walking, talking presence of God. I said Jesus passed by. You know what he done? He looked up in that tree. He said, you get yourself down out of that tree, boy. Because today, I'm coming to sup with you at your house. Today, salvation has come to your house. And I've come to seek and to save that which was lost. Tonight, I want you to know that if you're lost and undone, you're living a life full of sin. I want you to know that if you're a backslid Christian, I want you to know that if you're not living a life according to the word of God, there is salvation in the house tonight. And Jesus is passing by. And the presence is here if you would see that. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Ain't God good tonight? Oh, man, I feel the power of God. 
Do you feel the power of God? Yes. Come on, I want to tell you another little story real quick. Come on, y'all. Hey, can I preach a little bit? Hey, I come to have revival. I ain't sitting down until I'm through. I mean, come on. Hey, I want you to know that there was this woman, and she had an issue of blood. Hey, I said, I want you to know that there was this woman, and she had an issue of blood. I think it was 12 years, won't it, Mama? Yes, sir. Was it 12 years? Yes. Come on, y'all. Do you yes, know the Lord. Word of God tonight? Yes. Was it 12 years? Yes, and she said that she's... She said in her spirit, she said, I don't care what I got to do, but if I could just touch the hem of his garment. Oh, yeah, I'm talking about the presence of God, man. I'm talking about looking after the presence. She knew if she could get in the presence of God, that she would be healed. Yeah. Come on. Jesus moved through that, through that city. And it said that she couldn't get to him because there was a press. Uh-huh. Oh, come on. I'm talking about going forward. Come on. Yeah. Hey, she didn't turn around. She didn't see the crowd and turn around. She didn't see the people that was packed in around Jesus say, oh, well, I can't get to him tonight. I better wait another time. No, she needed something from God. She needed the presence of God in her life. I said she needed the presence of God in her life. You know what she done? She pushed by one person. Oh, come on. She pushed by the next man. Come on. Come on. She stepped on a few toes. Hallelujah. Yeah. She might have had to crawl. But you know what? She didn't let nothing hold her back. She went up in there and she went through the press and she touched the hem of God's garment. Come on. Yeah. The presence of God. And she was healed immediately. Yeah. Immediately. It wasn't next morning. It wasn't two hours later. As soon as she touched that hem, she was healed. Jesus said, I felt the virtue come out. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. I said there's deliverance. Yeah. Oh, God, I feel the power. Hey, man. Hey, am I preaching good? Come on. Ain't none of my glory. It's all the Holy Ghost tonight. Yes, she go to your mind. Come on, church. Hallelujah to the Lamb. I want to give you one more person. Can I give you the mouth of three witnesses? Come on. That's what I'm trying to do here. I laid it out for you. I laid it out. The presence of God has lifted in a lot of churches and in a lot of our lives. We're too busy in our tents having life. Busy to get to the presence of God. And we don't even notice that it's gone. But I want you to know that he's moving and he's looking for his people to come. And the last witness I want to give you tonight is the blind Bartimaeus. Oh, thank you. Hey, church. Man, I'm feeling good in the house of God. Hey, there's deliverance out here tonight. There's deliverance out here tonight. I said there's healing out here tonight. I said there's deliverance out here tonight. Did you come shackled down with guilt? Did you come shackled down with lies? Did you come shackled down with unforgiveness? I want you to know that there's power in the blood of the Lamb. There's power in the blood tonight. Blind Bartimaeus. Come on, y'all. Blind Bar <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Blind Bartimaeus. Oh, he was laid down on the side of the road. Come on. It says that he had on his begging garments. Yeah. Uh -huh. He had on his begging garments. Hallelujah. Come on. He had his cup out there and he was begging. He couldn't see nothing. He couldn't see a thing. Come on. Us in church, we come to church day in and day out, and we begging God, and we begging God, and we begging God. He to move down the road, and we ain't really looking for His presence. We just giving a prayer. Oh, oh no, He didn't say that, did He? <laughs> yeah, He did. We come to the altar. We ain't got faith in God to do nothing. We just go up there to be seen, huh? Oh. Hey, come on, come on. I said, hey, men. Amen. Amen. I said, can I get an amen in the house? Hey, y'all. <laughs> hey, uh, blind Bartimaeus, he's sitting on the side of the road. He's blind, Daddy. He couldn't see a thing, man. You know what? He heard a stirring. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did. He heard a stirring. He heard a commotion. He said, hey, what's that, y'all? Yeah. Somebody said, Jesus Christ of Nazareth is passing by. Yeah. Somebody yeah. said that the presence of yeah. God is getting ready to walk through this place. Yeah. And you know what he started doing? He started yelling for everything he could do. Yeah. He started screaming, oh, son of God, have mercy on me. Yeah. Oh, come on, church. Hallelujah. He started screaming out to God. And they told him, why don't you be quiet? Right. That's what the people sitting beside you want you tonight to do tonight. Yeah. They want you to be quiet. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. You probably wish I sit down somewhere. But guess what? I ain't gonna do it. There you go. I ain't gonna do it because God sent me here. Amen. God sent me here to deliver this message. God give me the words in my mouth. And you know what? I'm gonna preach them. And I'm gonna preach them just as hard as I can. Why? Because God called me. God ordained me. And he set my feet on the righteous path. Hallelujah. Blind bottom ass, he was crying out. He said, Lord, help me, Lord, help me. I'm blind, I'm blind. Come help me. They said, Be quiet, will you shut up? Yeah. <laughs> You know what the word of God says? Mm -hmm. Said he, I'll start a hollering even more. <laughs> All the louder. Yes. Yes. I want to ask you, where's your shout at tonight? Oh, yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. hey, it's people in the house of God that need something from God tonight. Yes. Yeah. Hey, don't you need something? Who needs something from God tonight? Yeah. I want you to know yes. he's present. Yes. He's a very present God. Oh, come on. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Todd. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hey. Jesus passed by that man. He asked him, he said, what you want? He said, I, that I might receive my sight. Yeah. And immediately. Uh -huh. Ooh. I said, immediately, Josh. Come on. I said, immediately, Chris. Jamie, I said, immediately. Immediately. He received his sight. Amen. In the presence of God. The presence of God passed by. He yelled out he wasn't going to let nobody keep him from the presence of God. He wasn't going to let nobody get, get rob him of his healing. Come on, church. Uh, he wasn't going to let nobody stand in his way. The little short guy, he was going to climb that tree. He was going to do what he had to do. That woman with the issue, she ran up in there. She pushed on past her to get to the presence of God. And I want to ask you what you going to do tonight. Uh, are you going to sit in that pew? Uh, are you going to look at me like you're looking? Uh, are you going to get yourself up here to the presence of God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, yeah. Hallelujah. What I like about that in, in 40 of in 40 of Exodus, it said that the presence of God was in sight mm -hmm. yeah. of all the people. Right. Of all of Israel. The whole nation seen it. You know what I've been praying? I've been praying that these ones in here in this church tonight. That they would get their self up. That they would uproot their tent. That they would gather all their belongings. That they would gather everything that pertains to them. And they would come. I said they would come. Because Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The son of the living God. Come on. The Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. The Savior is passing by through here tonight. And I want you to know that if you'll do everything you can to get up here. If you'll do everything you can to get up here. And touch the Savior. And to get into his presence presence uh, and you'll fight to get it uh, and you won't give up uh, and you won't give up uh, and you won't give up uh, and you won't let nobody stand in your way uh, and you won't let no thought stand in your way uh, and you won't let no devil of hell stand in your way uh, and you won't let the next person stand in your way uh, you get up here to the presence of God he'll heal your body uh, he'll save your soul uh, and he'll set you free tonight where's your praise and hallelujah to the Lamb of God Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. You want to be filled with the Holy Ghost and the fire? You can have it tonight. You need to be healed in your body? You can have it tonight. Oh, come on. You need salvation of your soul. He can give it to you tonight. But you got to want it. You got to pursue it. You got to pursue it. You